This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use GameCube Memory Card Manager or GCMM for short. It's very helpful as you can have infinite saves on one card. As far as what you need, like physically, you need an SD card with um, like all of your homebrew stuff on, the one you put in your Wii. An SD card reader, most laptops I think have one like built in I'm not too sure but because I've got a PC I just bought one just google it they're very cheap and obviously you need a Wii that's soft modded and got homebrew installed I can't remember how I installed mine so please don't ask me if you want help with that um, I believe you can somehow do it with a USB but I'm not too sure how that works so I'm just going to tell you what I know so as far as that, so to install it, you want to download the link in the description, which is actually Chaos's um, Chaos's link in his Twitch. So thanks for that. And when you download it, you'll get this this like zip file, TP save stockpiles. You want to uh, um, extract it or unzip it using whatever program you use. I probably use a really weird one. I think the normal ones like WinZip or WinRAR or something. But anyway, just extract it and you will get this right here. Open it up. Now this file there, this folder right here is the app. You don't want to do anything inside here. That's the app. You don't want to copy, move, whatever. You want to move this app folder or move GTMM to your SD card into the apps and install it right here in your apps folder. This means that Homebrew can actually see it and you can actually open it. So just move it in here. I've already got it. I didn't really want to uninstall it because I'm lazy and it would have taken a while. But you get the idea, just move it here and it's there. Now what else you want, so that's, that's installed the app, that's great, it's really that simple. Now in the root of your SD card, you need a folder called MC Backup, all in capital letters, exactly like this. I believe you can make it yourself, it, that's what I did. So just make this folder, and inside here is where you're having all of your saves. Your saves are .gci, so all of your saves go in here. Something I'd like to note, you can't organise your saves in here. As in, you can't have folders in here, you can't open folders. It has to be saves directly in this folder. So, yeah. Also, with saves, with region, I believe you can change save region somehow but I don't know just stick with the same region as your game for example I'm PAL so all of these saves I made myself so I know they're PAL if you're NTSC there's saves you can download for example Chaos Link in the link I gave you he's got any percent and no save quit just ask around or make your own Wait, yeah, so basically that's region. What else do I need to go over? So that's how you install it. That's how you get the saves to be able to be re read or whatever. So I guess I'll just show you it in action. So you want to, well, obviously I need my SD card in my Wii. All right, so you see, because it was in the apps folder, here it is in all its glory. Load it up and I'll show you some of the f functions I guess. See down there if you press B you can use USB. I'm not sure how that works. Play around with it maybe it would be better for you. But I use my SD card so I press A. Now you want to press Y if you want to back up any of your save files on any of your save files on your memory card you can back up now. When you back them up, they will have this weird name, like this. But you can rename them by using your SD card reader. So, that's why you need that really. Unless, you, well, you don't actually need it. You could just back them up with all the weird names and then write them down in a notepad, if you want. 
Anyway, I'm going to press B to get out of here. Now, you can press X to restore. And here is all my save files that I can restore. I have quite a lot, probably too many actually. And some of them are probably useless, but there you go. All of these are PAL, so I know they'll work. Because my game's PAL, my memory card is PAL. So yeah, you can restore these, and every single one of these has three save files, so you can see how powerful it is. Like, imagine how many memory cards I'd need for all of these files. That would be a lot of money also. So I've cancelled that. If you press Z, you can also delete, choose which memory slot, but I'm not going to do that, so I pressed the wrong one. Um, I'm not sure what raw backup and raw restore is. But, I don't know, I've never used it. Format MC, I'm not sure either. You could, I remember somewhere. Yeah, look, if you press R, you can restore all of them. I'm not too sure how that works, I've never done it. Though, I do know it might be helpful if you want to, say, back up your whole memory card. Go to backup, and then press R, and you'll restore all of these. So, it'd be helpful to back up, sorry. Backup, I meant. So it'd be helpful to back up everything. I don't understand how it could restore them all. The game certainly wouldn't read all of them. So, yeah, I think that concludes it, really. I mean, if you want, I can show you that you restore by pressing A. I don't know. Say I want to restore... I'm probably going to want to practice this next. So say I want to restore this. Press A. B to overwrite. Z to confirm. You can also use um, your Wii remote, but I don't. It takes a little while, but you know. So I'm just gonna like <laughs> show you this has worked, I guess. So if any, if any, if it doesn't work for you, ask me. You probably did something wrong. The main thing I found hard to get it working when I first got it was um, about that MC backup folder. I didn't realise I had to be directly in there. Like I was trying to organise them, but you can't. They have to be directly in that folder. Make sure the saves are the same region as your game. So either make them yourself or ask other people. And yeah, I can't see what other trouble you would have given you a little link. Yeah, you're not going to have any other trouble. So, here's the game. Open it up. And here you go. I've got my files for 100% practice. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll try and help you. Anyway, see ya.